can you discuss how to remove glyphosate from the body? And as Jeffrey said, the first thing, don't eat foods that have glyphosate in them, obviously. You know, stop throwing gasoline on the fire. That's the first thing. The second thing, detox programs, people are, you're hearing me say more and more often how critical detox programs are. Well, what does that mean? It means that it becomes part of your lifestyle. It's not for four or five days once a year that you think more about detoxing. You look for foods that are liver enhancing foods, herbs that are liver enhancing herbs, detox teas that you have once in a while. There's a product on our website called GI Detox. It acts like a big sponge to soak up toxins out of your gut. The, and the, the other thing that's important that I would say is a half ounce of water per pound body weight. You must have enough liquid in your body to escort the toxins out. So if you're not drinking a half ounce of water per pound, so if you weigh 150, that's 75 ounces of water a day. That's a minimum. That's a minimum to have adequate detoxification. But I've, I've convinced a lot of people to change their diet over the years. Um, and I'm, you know, the messaging that we created was pioneered the health danger discussion of GMOs and 46% of Americans now say that they're seeking non-GMO food. The most important success factor for whether someone actually changes the diet is if they start right away. And the next is if they have a path, you know, like some like our support structure. We introduced the visionaries that created certain organic products because they were absolutely driven by by something and, and they were able to, they succeeded. So you're not just changing your food, but also your, your uh, uh, your household cleaners, your clothing, whatever. And we also teach how to ferment, sprout and grow. Uh, we have all, it's like basically, you know, you and I have been in a healthy lifestyle and learning more and more every year as we meet people and we travel. And so if you tel telescope that 10 years into 90 days, but do it in a systematic way, that's what we've created. And uh, it's exciting because that's where I've spent most of my time in the last several months is saying, well, what do people need when they watch the film? And some of the questions that I'm hearing now are questions that we thought of and say, we need to answer this question. Uh, how do we detox, for example? Um, I've been saying for a while that um, it doesn't matter uh, to be tested. Do you have bisphenol A? Do you have high levels of phthalates? Because everybody does, <coughs> everybody does. The only exception to that would be uh, Kristen's question, can someone order a urine test for glyphosate without a doctor? And as Jeff said, absolutely yes, just go to Responsible Technology. And that one matters, why? Because when you stop exposing yourself to glyphosate, your urine levels will go down. Whereas with phthalates, it's in the air, it's in it's you contact when you touch the blinds and it gets on your hands, it gets in your bloodstream. There's a whole level that you just don't have control over. So for those, for those chemicals in the world, What's most important is if you have antibodies, if your immune system is attacking those chemicals. But for glyphosate, any glyphosate is a problem and it's easy to get rid of. You just stop the exposure.